welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about composition of transformations, which is basically a fancy way of saying we're going to do more than one transformation at a time. Um, so we have learned the four different types of transformations, dilations, translations, rotations, and reflections. So if you don't know what any of those are, you definitely want to watch those videos first. Let's dive right in. Okay, so given the points A, which falls at 1, 4, B, that falls at negative 2, 1, and C, which falls at 4, 0, translate two units to the right followed by a dilation of 2. So we're not only doing a translation, we're also going to do a dilation. And it's very specific that it wants us to do the translation first then the dilation, and it does make a difference. Um, so some teachers are okay if you just do this. If you say, okay, let's take these one at a time. So we start with an XY point, and then we're going to translate two units to the right. That's going to mean that we're going to take our X value, because remember X is our left and our right. We're going to add two to it, because add means moving to the right and y would stay the same at that point. We're not moving up or down, so y would just be the same, okay? And then we're going to do another transformation by doing a dilation of two. So what we get here, we are then gonna take and we're gonna multiply two by the x value and two by the y value. And then that will be our final answer. So some teachers are okay accepting this as your composition of transformations. Other teachers or other certain tests may want you to specifically have just one XY becomes blank and just have it in all both of these combined into one expression algebraic representation okay um, so let's we kind of have to think through it logically so we got our xy becomes now I want to add 2 to the x before I multiply the 2 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the 2 on the outside and then we're going to add 2 to the x. Now the y, I'm not doing anything to the y here. The only thing that's being done to the y is we're going to multiply by 2. Okay, now they're going to want you to go ahead and distribute this 2 in. So x, y becomes, this will be our final algebraic representation. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times positive 2 is positive 4. And then we have our 2y. So I definitely like this way better. I feel like it's easier to follow. However, sometimes you'll see it this way where it's all within one representation. So let's go ahead. They did ask us, um, they did give us some specific points to use. So let's go ahead and plug these points into that one transformation and get our A prime, B prime, C prime. Uh, so let's see, A prime. So it's currently sitting at 1, 4. We're going to take 1 and put it in the place of x. So 2 times 1 is 2. And then add 4 to it, that's 6. And then for y, it's currently 4. So we're just going to take 2 times 4, which is 8. Okay, now let's do our b prime. So negative 2 in the place of x. So 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. And 1 times 2 is just 2. Now let's do our c prime. That would fall at 4 in the place of x. So 2 times 4 is 8. Plus 4 is 12. And 2 times y of 0 would be 0. Okay, so there would be our new points for that shape. Uh, so given the points d, which falls at 0, 0, e, which falls at 1, 2, and f, which falls at 3, 4, 
reflect over the y-axis, then rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. So we have to reflect first, then rotate. Whenever you've got a mix of reflection and rotation, I think it's easiest if we first lay out those rules and then actually complete those rules with a point, we're gonna pick a point to work with. So let's do one step at a time. First, let's just think about, I'm starting with an X, Y point, right? And then I'm going to reflect over the Y axis. So I've gotta think back to what is my rule for reflecting over the Y axis. And you're, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, you probably wanna go back and review that video on reflections. Um, the rule for crossing over the Y axis is we make the x negative and the y stays the same, okay? Then we're gonna take that point and we're gonna rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. So we're gonna take that one and rotate, and that rule for rotation of 90 degrees is negative y comma x. All right, so let's actually pick a point and do these steps and see if we can figure out what, how I could write this in just one algebraic representation. Because again, some teachers will accept this, some of them will just want one x, y to a representation. So I'm not going to pick the first one, I'm not going to pick zero, zero, because no matter which way I flip or change my sign, I'm still going to have zero, zero. So that's really not a great one to pick. But let's do E. One, two. So that's going to be our kind of testing point here. One, two. Now we're going to follow this rule with it. So we're going to make the X negative. We're going to flip the sign because it's currently positive. Right? We're going to make it negative. The Y is going to stay the same at two. All right, now we're gonna now do the second transformation of rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise. We are going to switch the X and Y. We're gonna bring the Y forward, move the X to the back, and we're gonna change the sign of the Y, okay? So we are going to take the two, bring it forward, and flip its sign. The X is gonna go to the back and keep his sign. Okay, so we want to think about to go from here to here, what did we do? So we went from an XY point to, let's think about it, the two came forward and became negative. So we would say that the Y is in the front and it is negative. The X moved to the back and it also flipped sign. Okay, so that's a negative Y, negative X. That's how I could write this in just one step. Okay, so let's go ahead, because they did give me some set points, let's go ahead and transform each of those using this rule right here. Okay, so let's take D, and we're going to make it D prime. So now we are technically going to bring the back zero forward. I can't flip a sign of a zero. It's just going to be zero. The zero in the front is going to go to the back. So like I said before, zero, zero is kind of a, a special case. No matter which way I flip it, it's going to stay the same point. Um, and then E prime. So it was one, two, so let's think about this. The two's gonna come to the front and it's gonna flip sign. The one is gonna go to the back and it's also gonna change, change sign. Currently positive, so we're gonna make it negative. And then for F prime, the four's gonna come to the front and become negative. The three's gonna go to the back and also become negative. Okay, you guys try this one. Uh, what would the algebraic expression, so that means the rule, the x, y becomes, and then, you know, whatever you do to the x, y. Um, so what would the algebraic expression be to translate the point 7, 8, 
we want to translate it up three units followed by a dilation of 1.5. So don't let the fact that that is a decimal confuse you. It works the same way. If you get stuck on this one, definitely refer back to that first problem. It was very similar. Give me one algebraic representation for those two transformations. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.